Let's see how we can set up the Java path variable. I've navigated to my C drive here, as you can see. Then I'm going to click on Program Files. Then we're going to go to this folder that says Java. This is a folder that gets created when you install Java. And here I have Java 17. Let me click on this folder. And then I'm going to go into this bin folder right here. This bin folder contains certain executable files that we need in order to compile and run Java code. For example, if I scroll down here, you're going to see something called Java C, this executable file right here. This is a Java compiler. So we need the path for this bin folder. And it's this one up here. So I'm just going to click this blank area over here. And here we have our path highlighted. So let me right click and select copy. Now I'm going to click the search box over here and type environment. And as I begin to type, you're going to see an option that says edit system environment variables. Click that. Now we get the system properties window. Go ahead and select environment variables. Here we have two sections. We have user variables and system variables. These user variables only apply to specific users, while the system variables applies to anyone using this computer. So we're going to edit this path variable under system variables. Let me click on it, select edit, and then I'm going to click new. And I'm going to paste the path. Then I'm going to click OK. That's all we need to do to set up the Java path variable. We can always verify what we just did by clicking over here in the search box type in cmd to open a command prompt. Then I'm going to type java-version and press enter. If you see your Java version listed here, that means you've done it correctly.